Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you would, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now before you forget. Leave me a comment in the comment section as I do enjoy reading all your comments. If you tired of saying the same thing, just drop a heart in the comment section just so I know that you watch the video. So anyway, I am here with London and for those that may be new to the channel, London is the prototype Aspen sculpted by Claire Teller and painted and rooted by Sylvia Esquire. I know I probably butched that, but it's Sylvia Creations is her nursery name. So um, she is my very first Sylvia baby and you guys can check out her box opening. I just got her just recently. And I'm so thrilled with her. I always like to like let the excitement of the rush of the box opening die down and then come back and revisit it later to see if I still feel so excited about it. So that kind of leads me to what I wanted to talk to you guys about today as I get London dressed. I, I know we struggle as collectors um, because a lot of us, first of all, most of us are women and we're impulsive shoppers. Number two, we're emotional. Number three, this is just straight up addictive. <laughs> and so we just, we love getting the babies. We love getting new packages, the box openings. And, you know, especially when it comes, you know, from a new artist or someone that we've not had work in our collection. And so that rush and that excitement, the initial, you know, ooh, ah, you know, we have to let that die down and see if every time you look at that baby, is it still that ooh ah, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I've learned very quickly that I pretty much know when a baby is not, is not the one for me right at first sight. Um, or sometime I like something about the baby, but something bothers me and I know that it's, it's, it's gonna it's not gonna go away but I'll try to force it and um so and I believe that is probably true for most of us rather we admit it or not um and so the baby tends to stay for a while and then eventually we put it up for sale or you just put it away and that's just that so um that usually is how it goes for me. So a lot of people are like, I don't know, you know, should I keep this baby up? And when I know once you start thinking about selling the baby, eventually it's going to get sold. So um, my suggestion and just my advice to you guys, if you got a baby and it's a newer sculpt or, you know, the artist is hot and popping at the moment, and you're tugging back and forth, should you sell it, should you sell it, go ahead and sell it. Because when you wait to that kit or that baby is played out, nobody's looking for it, checking for it, you lose even more money than you would have if you would have just sold it while the kit or whatever was popular. That's just my opinion. You know, you don't have to go buy it. Some people be like, I buy for kids. I always have the intent, da 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 da, da. You know, I don't think and except for there are some collectors that do buy low to sell high and they, that's just their their thing but i think most of us buy with the intent to keep i think we we all think that this is the baby that we really really want and then you know either the baby don't look quite the same in person or it just don't feel right with us in our collection sometimes the baby is absolutely beautiful Sometimes the baby is more beautiful than the photos, but you, we still feel some type of way about it when it's in our arms or, you know, it, it just, it, it can be the most simplest thing. It can be, I don't like the way she did the eyelids. I, I don't like the way she did the mouth. I don't like the hair texture. I don't, you know, or it could be, oh, why does she have to put that one spot there? You know, <laughs> I mean, for me, it, it can be so simple or um, I'm not really crazy about the undertones, you know, <laughs> so it can be just the most simple thing, right? And for me, it will eat at me and eat at me and eat at me until I'll just be like, you know what? I'm going to put this baby up for sale. 
So, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, and you guys know, I'm one of those people, like, I believe if a baby's gonna sell, it's gonna sell. I don't believe in trying to make something more than what it is just to get a sale or, you know, I, I'm not one to lie in my box openings or my videos and be like, oh, I love this baby, this blah, 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 just for a future sale. And I know some people feel they have to do that because if you don't like it, somebody else not gonna like it because, you know, we have this, this, this uh, way of thinking that if somebody don't bond with a baby or, oh, they don't like the baby, then something's wrong with the baby. That That is so far from the truth. We all have different tastes and different preferences. And then we also have different um, perspectives as far as what is high-end and low-end and what's really art and what's not. And who looks like our family or our friends' babies or whatever the case may be, may be different. Our whole family dynamics are different and so therefore she might not like it because that's not familiar for me and my family and then this person may love it because it's like oh this is exactly how my babies look when they were born or this is how my baby cousins looked when they were born type thing so you have to keep that in mind when you're shopping for a baby because I've gotten some great babies at great prices because the person who was selling a baby did not like the baby and they felt like because they didn't like the baby somebody else wouldn't like the baby. So they lowered the price and I got a good deal on a baby that I absolutely love. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Guys, when you're out here, you know, shopping for a baby or putting a baby up for sale or, you know, just doing your videos, like just be honest. Um, I remember I sold a baby one time and I told them, I said, she looks very pale, almost lifeless in certain lights. And, um, I just can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. I love her in, you know, low light, but when she's in bright light, I just can't take it. And, um, the collector was like, oh, I know I've seen this particular artist babies before in person, but I want it anyway. And, um, they were like, I want ma to match my friend's baby. Um, so they wanted to have twin babies and she bought it anyway. So, you know, honesty works. You know what I mean? Um, at least the person know what they're getting into. I think it also prevents um, buyer's remorse um, as well. So, yeah, because I know for a fact, and I'm in it, it's not that I had false, you know, like lie, but I know for a fact there are certain babies that I, when I opened it up, and I looked at it, I was kind of like, mm, um, don't really know about this one. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes too, when you pay a lot of money for something or you, you know, you really, like if you pay a lot of money for something, you feel like you, you gotta, gotta love that baby. Like you gotta love it. You gotta keep it like for real. Like I'm trying to see how I can get to tire. <laughs> Her bib. <laughs> Come on. Um. So yeah, so sometimes we force ourselves to like stuff just simply because we feel like we paid so much money. It's just a waste. We just feel bad that we paid all this money, and um, we paid all this money, and then the uh baby is not what we wanted or what we expected and so we try to try to love it and i say you know what if that's what you want to do or you want to just keep it as a display baby or whatever or maybe it has sentimental value to you maybe you really love the person you bought it from and you just want a piece of them in your collection because regardless of how you feel about it um when these people really paint from their heart and their soul you do have a piece of that artist when you have a piece of that work in there. And, you know, everybody don't paint from their heart or their soul. So you sometimes you just got an empty shell of a, just a doll because and that's a lot of times it reflects in their work as well. Some people, you know, are in it just to make money and they're just slapping paint on doll on the kids and, you know, calling it a baby. And, you know, that's that. 
So you don't really get much in it because they they didn't put much in it. But you got some people that really pour their heart out in each baby. And even if it don't come out great, it's still something that they gave their all. They gave their best. And their best may not be your best, what you consider to be best. Or it may not be what another artist may consider to be a best. So you... You know, you might just want to keep that baby just because of sentimental reasons, and that's okay too. Um, it's whatever you feel good about, and as long as you don't like just hate the doll, like you know. But, um, and I'm talking about all this, but I will tell you guys, um, honestly, I absolutely do love this baby. Um, there's um, everything about her, I love her, I don't foresee her going anywhere. Um, I'll be completely honest and transparent with you guys. Just being an artist myself, I love, um, the difference in the style. I, and I, I know I probably said this before, but I just love the way that Sylvia was able to take this same kit and make it look so different from my version. So... Although I have two of the same sculpts in my collection, I feel like I have totally two different babies. Like, I really do. I feel like I have totally different babies. Like, to me, they never look alike. In person, they don't look alike at no angle, really. Um, she painted the lips differently. She, you know, the way she modeled, the way I modeled, you know. And, it, and rightfully so, because they are different, painted to be different. Um, as far as, like, she was painting for biracial I was painting for um African American so um it sh they should look different <laughs> so um yeah so it's it it's it's pretty cool and I really love that and um I love this little the way she put this together because I personally wouldn't have never thought that would have went together but I absolutely loved it in her pictures in fact this was one of the outfits when i seen this on her and yes i know that is so superficial but i already had fell in love with the baby but when i saw this outfit i was like on her i was like oh yeah i gotta get her let me message her before somebody else do <laughs> type thing so um yeah so i i really feel like it's just like when we find our soulmate we know something in our gut tells us that's the one and then, you know, when we find that man that we are just infatuated and just lustfully in love with, but there's all these red flags and we know something is off about him, but we still keep him around, you know, rather it's just out of pure desperation, loneliness, whatever. And I know, listen, I'm talking dolls and men, baby. Listen, they both addictions. So... <laughs> No, but um, but it's the same way with, when we find our dolls. When we find our dolls, we find these babies. We know if that baby really pulls our heartstrings or you know, are we just fascinated with the sculpt or the idea of the baby, but that just quite isn't it. Um, and so, and that's why I always tell people that buy from me, look, if you don't like the baby when you get it, um, don't think that I'm going to feel any type of way if you decide to sell that baby or um, trade that baby, give it away, whatever. It's your baby. And I'm not going to take it no type of way. Because um, everything is, you know, totally... It's, it's totally about preference and stuff. So, anyway... I just thought that that subject came to mind and I, you know, I just thought I would talk about that a little bit with you guys. And um, I also wanted to come back and show London. Um, I think London is the best name for her. And long story short, London was one of the very first babies that I bought. I bought it off of eBay from a lady named Brittany something. Um, I was waiting on another baby to arrive and caught that baby on a bid I was bidding and I won it and um I fell in love with that baby I was so in love with that baby it was um London was by Denise Pratt I can't remember which what the kid was name was but I named her London and I just I loved I really really loved her 
And I love this baby the same way. I, it's something about her that, you know, I can't say that she reminds me of my kids, but she, for whatever reason, just gives me that feeling of familiarity or something. I don't know, but I love, I, I do love her. And so um, I'm very happy with her and I would buy again. In the next video, I want to talk about pricing. See you guys later. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video.